Hey guys, this is a bit of an unusual video for me, um, but I've been playing this game for a while now and the performance problems are really starting to get on my nerves. So this is um, Warhammer 40k Inquisitor. It's a great game, it's an alpha, um, it's a lot of fun to play. So basically we're going to go through a few things at the moment. So this is GPU power, this is GPU usage, this is FPS, that's the frame draw time. So I'm just going to go through a few things I did to try and get better performance. So bear in mind that um, this card I'm using at the moment, which is a GTX 1070, has no overclock. I'm running it on a Ryzen 5 1600 overclocked 3.95 gigahertz, and the machine's got 16 gigs of memory. So should be able to play this no problem. So let's go into play. Um, it's running on an SSD as well, so there should be no uh no bottlenecks essentially so let's have a look at the settings so um options let's go into video 1080p very high so basically no frame limit all this is turned on except resume and let's find a mission preferably one that i can redo um so let's go here um Autopathy. Uh, let's not do that. Let's do this one. Because I can redo this mission. Because I'm pretty sure I keep dying in it anyway. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yep. That's fine. Start. Okay. So hopefully this is going to show you what I've done to get better performance. Um, I really noticed this when I was streaming, guys, that it was churning along a little bit, so... Yeah, 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 goodbye. So when you're here, it's absolutely no problem. 59, 61% usage, 98 FPS. Um, so let's go, let's get rid of all this stuff. Let's change weapon. Get rid of all that. And then it's already dipping, already dipping down to the 70s. So just keep your eye on the frame counter. Down into the 40s. Oh my god. Right, let's get up here. Let's go. Go, and then this guy appears and I'm probably gonna die in a minute yeah I'm dead so 45 FPS okay 45 so between 44 and 45 FPS is what I was getting basically in that scene with just the standard um, very high default which I think this PC should run if you look at the specs for the game in Steam so let's go ahead and change those so let's go to options video so we're just gonna take off a few things so we're gonna remove organic physics and we are gonna remove smooth shadows uh, I think that is all I took off so you could remove this as well but let's see what difference that makes okay so let's go down we're just gonna do exactly the same thing in the same scene and already we're still up in the high, yeah we're at 80, so we're doing better than we were before. And 55, so there's 10 FPS guys. Straight away. So that's 10 FPS just by turning those two settings off. And that's what I found made a real difference for me gaming at home. There's another thing you can do when you're streaming. Uh, but let's just die here and then we can try something else. I don't care if I die. But even with all this happening, like before it was crapping out down in the low 40s. So now let's go back to options. We've still got those two settings off. Well, let's turn this down to two times. Accept. And see if that makes a difference. Um, I mean, I, I don't really think it looks 
that much worse. But yeah, we're up in the... It's not making too much difference so far. Oh yeah, we're a few frames per second higher. Do I think it's worth it over the image quality? Probably not. I would just leave the MSA on. Unless you're really struggling. Then you can turn it off. But, yeah, we're still in the 50s. But again, it kind of beats me dead. 55. And we're going to die. That should be me done. Mission failed. So we'll get out of here and then we'll talk a bit more about it, guys. Okay? Um, yep, yep, yep. Accept. And do, do, do. there we go. And let's hit continue. Continue. Right, so failed that mission. Um... But you can see there with those two little tweaks, just taking off organic physics and smooth shadows, we basically jumped about 10 FPS on what I would consider as a pretty high-end machine. I think my machine's pretty high-end. Um, the other thing you can do if you're really, really, really struggling, um, I don't like doing this, but one thing you can do is in frame limit, you can limit it to 60 FPS. And then it basically sits around 54. Well, you can see there, it'll sit at around 54 FPS. And you get a perfectly playable experience. Um, you know, there's no jittering or anything like that. But there you go, guys. A very simple fix for what I think is going to be a very popular game. Um, I came across it when I was uh, streaming. That I was just getting really poor performance. And I thought, what can I do to make this better? And by taking off those two... <clears throat> settings in most instances you're going to sit around 60 fps and big open scenes like that it drops down to the mid 50s but it's way better than the sort of 42 43 44 we were getting before with the high settings on um and that's really it guys um that's all i can say about this game it is an alpha it is um optimized but those two settings will give you a much better experience so I hope this video helped you, um, I hope you liked the video, if you like it give it a big thumbs up, if you didn't like it, really sorry that's it recorded now, can't do anything about it. Um, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, it helps me out a lot. Uh, and if you're not new to the channel, then you know keep sharing the content, let's keep growing the channel. And I'll catch you again in another great tech video. Bye guys!